Good afternoon. Today is Friday, October 14, 2016. I'm Marissa Eckheiser, and for the first time, a human has felt pain in a robotic limb. We have details. And I'm Logan Foster. Odds of our being alone in the universe went down because it's 10 times bigger than we knew. Your CSN News starts now. Next week on Thursday and Friday, October 20th to the 21st, there will be a senior tux and drape yearbook photos taken during your government classes in the gym foyer. If you are a senior and you do not have government on our campus, please make arrangements to get your photo done during these two days. The PSAT is coming up on Wednesday, October 19th. Don't forget to get plenty of rest the night before and eat a good breakfast that morning. Study materials are available online through collegeboard.org and Khan Academy. If you are a 10th grader and you have classes at Skyview or Columbia, please plan to stay on our campus all day on the 19th and do not get on the transfer bus. All players interested in playing basketball this or baseball this spring need to see Coach Sanchez during lunch on Friday or Monday. Also, Sports Med Club will be having a meeting on Wednesday, October 19th after school in the gym. Mark your calendar for Friday, October 21st. All members are required to attend the Pink Out Festivals. Everyone is expected to help set up after school at 3 p.m. that Friday in the football stadium. College Readiness Club will meet Tuesday, October 18th in room 101. If you would like help researching colleges or scholarships or have general questions regarding higher education, you are welcome to join us. Girls basketball will be having open gyms beginning Monday, October 24th through Friday, October 28th from 4 to 6 p.m. The following Monday, October 31st, will be the first day of tryouts from 4 to 6 p.m. Yes, that is on Halloween. If students have not had their physical or played a fall sport, please see Mr. Thomas, our athletic director, for their paperwork. Any other questions, feel free to stop by Ms. Schutt's room at number 114. Next week, colleges visit our Career Center will include Montana Tech on Monday, October 17th from 10 to 10.30 and Montana State on Friday, October 21st from 8 to 8.30. Please sign up at the front desk if you are interested in learning more about them. We'll be right back after this. Do you feel cool when somebody's feelings are hurt? Do you feel better when harassing other people because you're bored with your own life? Then you must like being a bully. Bullying on any campus is strictly prohibited. How would you like to be bullied? It wouldn't be fun, so don't bully at all. Bullying can be cyber, physical, verbal, and emotional. If bullying is happening in school, tell the nearest adult or the SRO so the problem can be resolved. If bullying is suspected, you will be suspended and even put up for expulsion. Don't make a mistake and keep the school safe. Weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. The weather is going to be out through the low 60s throughout the rest of the week, and it can be rainy as well. It can have a little bit of sun on Monday, so be sure to wear your raincoat. Back to you, Marissa. Thank you, Logan. For the first time, scientists have help, uh, helped a paralyzed man experience a sense of touch in his mind-controlled robotic arm. For the cutting-edge experiment, a collaboration between the University of Pittsburgh and the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, electrodes smaller than a grain of sand were implanted in the man's sensory cortex of his brain. The electrodes received signals from a robotic arm. When a researcher pressed the, fing the fingers of the prosthetic arm, The man felt the pressure in his fingers of his paralyzed um, hand, right hand, effectively bypassing the damage of his spinal cord. The result of the experiments, which have been repeated over several months, within 30 days, 30-year-old 30 Nathan Copeland offer, offer a breakthrough in the restoration of a critical function in people with paralyzed limbs, the ability not just to move those limbs, but to feel them. More than a trillion galaxies are lurking in the depths of space. A new census of galaxies in the observable universe has found ten times more galaxies than were thought to previously exist. An international team of astronomers used deep space images and others from the Hubble ta Space Telescope to create a 3D map of the known universe. In particular, they relied on Hubble's deep field images, which revealed the most distant galaxies ever seen with a telescope. Then the researchers incorporated new mathematical models to calculate where other galaxies that have not yet been imaged by a telescope might exist. For the numbers to add up, the universe needs at least 10 times more galaxies than those already known to exist. But these unknown galaxies are likely either too faint or too far away to be seen with today's telescopes. Today's SAT word of the day is dubious, which means doubtful, uncertain, 
or open to questioning. You could use it this way. Nacho was dubious about the quality of the bacon he found on the floor, but he ate it anyway. Thanks for watching, and remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it.